Parce Domine, Parce Populo Tuo, Ne in Eternum irascaris nobis, Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, In your compassion blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my sin and cleanse me from my guilt. Arce Domine, Arce Populo Tuo, Ne in Eterno Irascaris No. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Beloved, as we gather today, at the particular to Almighty God, and to you, my beloved, that I have sinned, that I have to God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the works of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel, he shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent 
know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, in them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock, I would fill them. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Beloved, today in response to the question, what is the greatest or the first of all the commandments, Jesus responds by quoting from the book of Deuteronomy, the Shema. The Shema were to, was to the Jews what the Our Father is to Christians, quoting here, O Israel, 
the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Let us focus on the term strength. Have you ever had the experience of praying to God for strength? Strength to, to endure a situation such as what we're going through now? Strength to um, make a decision with regard to maybe a new job or a relationship? something that's been happening in your life. And in making that request to God, in asking for that strength, it seems as though God is silent. He, there's no response coming to you. Why might that be? Is it because he doesn't care, doesn't love us, does not compassionate us? Not at all. Perhaps it will help us to think about in terms of the idea of God feeling, seeming as though God is distant from us, not concerned with us. Let us think about that distance between here and there. Reflecting upon that, could it be that God wants us to move from where we are to where he is because where we are is not in conjunction with what he has in mind for us, his particular goals. Because remember, one of the essential principles of the spiritual life is that your life and my life is not about you and it's not about me. Our lives are pure gift from God. St. Paul says it this way, whether we live or we die, we live for the Lord, we die for the Lord. For no one lives as one's own master, nor does one die as one's master. Whether we live or we die, it is for the Lord. So keeping that in mind, in all humility, as we're reminded in the first reading from the book of the prophet Hosea, come to the Lord with words. Come to the Lord with words, communicating to us that God desires commun He desires a relationship. He wants to converse with us. But as in every conversation, if we're doing all the talking or if the other person's doing all the talking and never takes the opportunity or never uh, realizes they need to listen, then there's, there's nothing there. There's no conversation. There's no, in other words, there's no turning to the other person's perspective and turning back so as to come to the fullness of what it is, that truth that we're trying to convey or establish between each other. So today, in a very real way, Jesus reminds us of the greatest of all commandments and surprisingly connects it to loving one's neighbor as oneself. Why would that be? Because after all, let's, let's admit it, it's easy to love God. It's easy to love God, right? He's forgiving. He's merciful. He's compassionate. He's all loving. He's all provident. But what about our neighbor? Well, some people are nasty. Huh? They're dishonest. Huh? They don't even maybe have a, a nice aroma about them. They may smell. Huh? They may stink up the place. And, and that's another story, isn't it? But yet I must be reminded of this. And also you. I'm one of those human beings. I too am a neighbor to someone else. And God loves me and loves you just the same. God love you. With love of God and neighbor, let us approach the heavenly throne with our needs and the needs of our world. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Lord bless him, sustain him, and protect him from all evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious Lord, 
Hear us, we pray. For lawmakers, may the God of justice guide them in living out their duty with wisdom and a sense of service to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. For all who are on the fringes of society, may the Lord provide for the acceptance and help that they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. For members of our community of faith, may the Holy Spirit enkindle in us a more pure love for our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. For all who have died, particularly Patsy and Sardi, and for the members of the human family who, whose lives have been taken by the coronavirus or other illness, other types of virus or what have you. May they live forever in joy in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. And let us now entrust these petitions that we've given voice along with the many we hold in the silence of our hearts, to the faithful and powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our perpetual help, under her title, Our Lady of Sorrows. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Lord God, you show your compassion and love to all who turn to you. Hear these prayers from your children, spoken and unspoken, given in the most holy name of Jesus the Christ, our Lord, and respond to them as you know best, and grant us the grace to conform to what you have in mind and heart for us, your beloved children. We pray this once again in the most holy name of Jesus the Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. 
Look with favor, we pray, Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O oh Lord, so that convert at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, 
Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another, May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship, bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Anus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere mobis. Anus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, Quitonis peccata mundi, 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who are now not able to receive communion sacramentally, we offer the following prayer. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, Strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come to thee, that with thy saints and angels, I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. To love God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself is worth more than any sacrifice. Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O oh Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participating in this sacrament, may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the faithful who employ your mercy, that trusting in your kindness, they may spread far and wide the gifts your charity has bestowed through Christ our Lord. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Go forth. The Mass is ending. Thanks be to God. Be with me, Lord, when I am in trouble. Be with me, Lord, I pray. Be with me, Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 
May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls.